Welcome back, and so the second half of this week, uh, the guys are busy uh, uh, working on a bunch of different molds. So this is the one for the uh, center stack that goes between the center console and the lower half of the dash. And as you can see, they're just putting down the first layer of light um, fiberglass on this one. So just wet down an area with the resin and then just uh, carefully lay out the uh, light glass. Don't want to get any bubbles in there or try to because we'll try not to get any. Uh, and if you do, you just got to work them out. So anyway, that's that's that one uh, getting underway, as you can see, Jeff putting down the light glass there. And here it is finished with the uh, first layers on there, so the light and the medium glass, and then the next day um, it would get hit with the heavy glass to finish that one off. So came out okay. And meanwhile, Roberto and Chris are working on the uh, laying down the light and medium glass on this one for the uh, air intake tray. So that one's a little bit bigger, but um, probably a little bit easier, less curves and things going on there. So no problems with that one. And here, Jeff and I are using the, the CNC machine to align these bushings uh, for the drill holes. Uh, for the these are the bolt holes that actually um, hold the main spar to the wing spar so we're putting these half inch bushings in place so once that part is laid up we can just run the drill through there and that creates um, the pilot hole for those um, bolt holes there and so here we are see they're all done and there's also a uh, couple of holes there for the uh, top mounting points for the um, retraction mechanism for the landing gear the main landing gear so anyway those uh, got laid in place. It's really nice that we have the machine to help align all those things. Just um, makes things much more accurate. And Jeff cut some uh, foam that makes up a stand and or sort of braces for this uh, center console mold and Roberto and Chris have um, put carbon and sort of uh, bonded all that into place. And here is the next day with this uh, intake tray and so this time it's getting the heavy layers of um, fiberglass laid down. So this is the first one that's just basically been laid down there dry and uh, just starting out on that one. Likewise this is the center stack here and it's getting the uh, heavy layers of um, fiberglass laid down on that. And it turns out after everybody looking at this thing we totally spaced out and Jeff and I both knew um, but we totally spaced out and forgot that this was going to be a two-part mold split uh, right down the middle. So uh, we're going to actually be cutting it in half and creating the flanges for that. So that'll be interesting to see how we recover from that mistake. But anyway the way it is right now there's no way you could release it from that plug. Anyway uh, just a minor mistake and we'll, we'll fix it up. And here Roberto and Chris are laying down the uh, first uh, lightweight layers of carbon for the lower half of the second door frame. And so you can see they're just, I think they've got the second layer or first layer of uh, medium down there already. And here's the mold for the intake tray. So this one now has the heavy uh, layers of uh, fiberglass completed. So that one's uh, ready now for bracing and trimming. These are those bushings on the uh, main spar. Now they've had some carbon fiber sort of put over them uh, to bond them nicely into place so they'll never move. And so you can see there was uh, six of them all that all together to do there. And um, Chris and Roberto uh, just knocked that out quickly one of the evenings that they were I think it was uh, Thursday evening they did that. And back to the intake tray and you can see uh, just Jeff quickly threw together some foam blocks there just to make up uh, the stand for that. And uh, it got uh, glass into place, and I believe that was uh, Chris and Roberto did that again, I think. And here's uh, Devin and Zach working on uh, laying out the heavy layers of carbon on this uh, lower door frame for the, this, is this again the second door frame. So that one uh, almost done for the first half of it. This is the firewall mold, and that, as you re might recall, had four bushings put into place for where the engine mount will bolt up to it. So now those have also had some carbon put uh, over the top of those. And here are the back walls of the uh, straight tank and the, those have just, or the plugs have just been uh, sprayed with guide coat so they're ready for sanding and in the background there that's the uh, the other lower uh, wing strake that um, has been there for a little while now because things are sort of piling up a little bit although the guys are catching up. And this is the one for all the other ribs um, and baffles for the straight tank so sanding is underway 
on that one. So that's uh, moving along. And now you can see that uh, this is the lower door frame on the second one that's uh, fully completed now uh, with the light and the heavy. And so that one just needs to be cleaned off a little bit and prepped up so the other side can be laid. And as you see here, this is the other one that was done the other day. So this has already been prepped up. You see the board area there for the transitions being sort of trimmed out so that uh, the other side there of the mold just needs to be sort of blown off and um, the last part of the rubber put down so that can be laid up. So it'll be next week. And here is the first of the upper wing strakes. So that one had been sanded and has now has been um, coated with the coat of primer. And so that one uh, will, will get another uh, guide coat and another sanding um, before it gets waxed. And this is the first of the lower wing strakes. So that one's had all its primer and sanding and it's actually been waxed. So all it needs now is the uh, rubber profile to be put around there and that one will be ready to have a mold pulled. So that one went fairly quickly actually. And lastly, while all that's been going on, after we had our successful test flight of the model uh, last week, I've subsequently been going back through uh, the CAD in SolidWorks and making the changes um, that we had made over the course of all this time, you know, to the um, to the actual model, making those in, in the CAD. So which basically the first of the changes was increasing the size of the winglet there. And as you can see, it looks actually fairly proportional. It doesn't look too big or anything like that. So. Um, I kind of like the way it's come out and you see when I hide the skins there you can see all the different uh, ribs that make up the various parts um, of the wing and the winglet so I've been cleaning all that up as well uh, in preparation for being able to lay all those um, bits and pieces out to create plugs for them. As you can see we've got a flap uh, area there that we're going to be uh, using for the prototype to see how that works out um, and there's the internals of the rudder there you see trying to keep it nice and clean and, and simple but at the same time you know you have to have the structure uh, necessary to, to support everything of course all of this has been run through uh, by Mark in, in um, his FEA analysis to make sure it's going to handle all the loading and stuff that we'll be putting on it during flight and here you can see this is with the skin uh, completely removed so you can see all the different ribs there and obviously the, the main spar and the secondary spar there on the wing and then the, the parts of, of the winglet that make up uh, the rudder and the spar. So uh, there's a few more things that I still have to do on there. I still haven't included the wing fence on there. And then also I'll be making uh, some changes to the foreplane because we've decided to go with a slightly larger foreplane um, for the prototype because we figured that there wasn't enough lift up front. Anyway, you'll see more of that later. That's our update for this week. Thanks again for watching.